Hey y'all, we're gonna revisit the cornbread that I make, which is my best friend Vicky's mom's cornbread. Uh, it is very good, actually the best cornbread I've ever ate. The first thing we're gonna do is preheat our oven to 500 degrees. Then I use an iron skillet and I'm gonna grease this really good. There's another video on on my YouTube channel. It was the first video I ever made. It was at Christmas and my grandkids uh, filmed it uh, for me. And that's this cornbread is the first video I ever did several years ago. So you just grease your pan really good. Like my other video, I'm gonna dedicate this to Vicky's family. Um, Juanita Hicks was her mother and Vicki Goss is, was my best friend. She left us last November, so it's almost a year ago. So see, I, I really uh, greased that really good. We always loved it when Vicki made her cornbread and one day I asked her, I said, can you, can you show me how? Can you tell me the recipe? She said, well, there really isn't a recipe. She said, um, but I can show you how. So she came over here to the farm and she showed me how. And um, in her recipes that we have saw, there is some recipes for cornbread, a couple of them, but it's not like she showed me. And, and she always told me that my cornbread was just about as good as her mom's, which was a great compliment. Um, so I've kind of guessed over the years at what I'm, uh, the measurements. Uh, this is two cups of self-rising white cornmeal, and I use white lily. She always said to use just a little smidgen of self-rising flour, and I would say maybe, I use big jars, uh, maybe a tablespoon of, uh, of self-rising flour. And she always told me, the way she showed me is just a scoop in your hand of shortening. So I would guess that's about a fourth of a cup. And I'm gonna do exactly the way she showed me so you can know how to make an easy cornbread. So, so far, we have uh, put in two cups of white lily self-rising cornmeal, and I use the white because that's what Vicki said to do. I've put in about a tablespoon of self-rising flour and about a fourth of a cup, if I was guessing, or as Vicki says, a scoop of shortening, and then you just scrunch it up with your hands. And you just scrunch it up till, you know, little pea size, little pea size pieces. Can you see that? And then we're gonna add some buttermilk. Now she always told me to use whole cultured buttermilk. And I have used the other before and it does not taste the same, I'm telling you. The whole cultured is the best. And we just use our hands with this. I'm doing it just exactly like she told me and showed me. We've ate this cornbread many, many, many times when she made it um, for uh, just, oh my goodness, we didn't even have to, we didn't even have to have anything to eat with it, but we would play canasta and she'd make us a pan of cornbread. Oh my goodness, it was good. So I added just enough buttermilk to get this the consistency of maybe a thick cake batter, if you can see that. All right, here's the key. She always told me to add a little bit of water. So I'm gonna add about a half a cup of water, maybe a little bit more. To this. You don't want it too thin, but you don't want it too thick. 
Now it is the consistency of a cake batter, if you can see this. Now, you've got your oven preheated to 500. Now, we like a thin cornbread, and so did she. So, I'm going to use the rest of this in a little, just a little iron skillet, uh, for, and I'll probably freeze it. So, let me get this in the oven. Okay, y'all can see I've got my cornbread out of the oven. I got one big pan, I got one small pan. I'll probably share this or freeze it. So, isn't that pretty? In honor of Vicki Goss and her mom, Juanita Hicks, their cornbread recipe, the best cornbread ever. Y'all go cook something.